Hey guys, today we're going to be ranking all 38 AP classes. Okay, so I have tiermaker.com open, and this is a template that they had, and we're going to be ranking the classes based on difficulty. So we have S tier, which is master. Those are the hardest classes. Then we have A, very hard. B tier is hard. C, medium. D, easy. E, rookie. And then F is easy money. Now, I only took 14 out of the 38 AP classes, so I don't have all the information. And so I asked some of my friends and other people I knew to share their experiences. And I also looked at the data from the five rates and the pass rates of these exams, which doesn't tell the full story, but it should help gain an understanding of how hard these classes are. So we're gonna start with AP 2D art and design. Now I didn't take this one, I'm not really an art student, but um, from what people are saying, uh, it's one of the APs that you take before you take AP drawing, which is much more difficult. And so I'm gonna be putting AP 2D art and design in the easy column. Next up, we have AP Calc AB. Now this is a very difficult class. It's many people's first time having an exposure to calculus. When I took it, um, I had an easy teacher, but the material was very hard in itself and I had to study a lot. And so this is definitely not one to underestimate. Uh, it can be very difficult. I'm gonna give it very hard. It's, it is definitely a tier material. Now, AP Calc BC. Calc BC is funny because half of Calc BC is Calc AB. And so I have heard of people who have been taking uh, the BC test without doing any of the new material and still getting fours and fives. And you only need about a 57% to get a five on Calc BC, which is really, really low. And so Calc BC definitely is one of the uh, easier APs, I'd say, because most of the people in the class have already done AB, and so it's easy for them because there's not really any new material. And so Calc BC is going to go in the E tier here. Next up is Comp Sci Principles. And so this is one of the first uh, computer science classes that a lot of people took. It was the intro class at my high school. A lot of people I knew, you know, first delved into computer science by taking this class. And so it's definitely one of the easier AP classes, but you still shouldn't underestimate it. You're gonna have to study. It also has, I think, one of the most number of students who get a perfect score on the test at around like 100 to 200 students per year, which is a lot. And so AP Comp Sci Principles is also gonna go in the E tier rookie. Now, AP Comp Sci A is a lot harder. This one does have a higher uh, five rate on the AP exam, but the people who take that class are already knowing what they're getting into. And so the material is much more difficult and you're gonna have a lot more work to do. And so this is going to go in the B tier. It is definitely a hard class. Don't underestimate it. Okay, next up we have AP Statistics. And this is, I took this class. It's one of the more interesting APs. A lot of this class is going to be you understanding how to solve the questions. It's not about the math that makes it difficult. It's about the specific ways they want you to write on the exam that make it difficult. There's a lot of formulaic ways that you have to write things in AP Statistics um, that you have to know and memorize. And so that could be hard for some people. I think it's definitely a medium level class. I know a lot of juniors take it in high school. Um, don't underestimate it, but it definitely won't be your hardest if you're taking a lot of APs. All right, next up, we have AP Biology. This one was my favorite AP. I am pre-med, so that's sort of a bias. Now, the difficulty with AP Biology isn't that the material is super, super hard or it's like going to be super complicated. The problem with AP Biology is that there's a lot of sophomores and freshmen who take it. They underestimate it. They say, oh, it's just biology. It's not chemistry. It's going to be easy. But that's not the case. And they end up doing bad and it, you know, tanks their GPA sometimes. And so AP Biology, for that reason, is going to go in the B tier. Now, AP Environmental Science, I self-studied this AP. I self-studied it, and it was very easy. Um, I just used the AP Review Book, and it ended up going fine. The exam was easy. Uh, the class, also, for many schools, is known to be a senior year blow-off class. Now, it's not that easy, but it definitely shows that um, it's one of the easier classes. So I'm going to put it in the D tier. Uh, I don't say it's a rookie class or it's really that easy because, you know, a lot of seniors take it. So you're going to be up against seniors on the exam, but it's not too difficult. Now, AP Physics 1 and 2. I know a lot of people in these classes who struggled, and it tanked people's GPAs. Now, the issue with AP Physics 1 and 2, again, is that people don't know what they're getting themselves into. They think it's going to be a lot of math, but the pass rates are very low, and the fire rate, I think, is like 7 8%. And so these are definitely hard classes. Don't underestimate them. I'm going to put them in the B tier. Now for the other AP Physics class, Mechanics and Electricity and Magnetism, these two are very, very difficult. They involve calculus that you learn in AB, and so you have to apply that material into the physics environment too, which brings in a lot of engineering and more actual like mathematical applications and like word problems than Calc AB. And so AP Physics C, I took it, it was very hard. Electricity and Magnetism and Mechanics are gonna be S tier. They are master level classes do not go into them without knowing what you're doing. 
Yes, the five rate is like 40, 30%, but that's because the people who take those classes are very smart and they know what they're going into. Don't do it unless you know you can excel and you've already taken Calc AB. Okay, next up is AP Art History. Uh, this AP requires a lot of memorization and you have to know a lot of different artwork, which can make it difficult sometimes. And so I'm gonna put it in the C tier, it's medium. You could definitely do it, but you're gonna have to put the time into memorize and you should probably have a passion for what you're doing. Now we're going into the language APs. So AP Chinese uh, language. Now the five rate was 50% in 2023, which is a lot. But a lot of the students who take that class um, either already know how to speak the language or you know they're ready for it and they have some past knowledge. And so it is definitely still a hard class. And so don't underestimate that from the 50% buy rate. French and German, I'm gonna put in C medium. I'm not saying these languages are easier, but they've been around a bit longer and there's more material. Also, people have more opportunities to take those classes at elementary and middle school. Italian, I'd say is on the harder end because not many schools in the US offer Italian as a language. Um, Japanese as well is in the hard. AP Latin is definitely a very hard class because Latin is not really spoken anywhere. You're not going to find like a family member who can speak Latin or like run across somebody on the street who's like, hey, I'm speaking Latin. Let me help you improve. Like that's not how it's going to go. And so it's definitely very hard and you have to be committed to learning the language. Okay, now we have AP Spanish language, also medium. Many schools do offer Spanish in elementary and middle school so you can get a head start. AP Music Theory. Now this is one that I was thinking about taking, but then I didn't. Uh, because my school only had like one class out of like 620 graduating seniors uh, that offered AP Music Theory and they were all like super talented musicians so I didn't want to do it um, and so if you are doing it and you're good at music and you have a passion it could definitely be easy and most of the people in that situation know the music beforehand so I'm going to put it in easy although if you don't have any experience it could be very hard. AP English Language. Now the class, the difficulty varies based on obviously what school and teacher you have, but I'd say like the essays you write, like are things you've done in the past, like rhetorical analyses and things like that. So I found it easy. I didn't have to study much and I just kind of went into the test and I did okay. AP literature is much harder. Now you have to read a lot of books and you have to have them ready during the exam to pull details from. And so that obviously is definitely, you know, a turnoff for a lot of high school seniors and so the exam is like an SAT reading passage then you have to do some writing the class honestly most people I've talked to they did not like it it was boring so it's going to be in the very hard tier you have to motivate yourself next up is AP comparative government now I don't know much about this because I haven't really known anybody who had the opportunity to take it it's sort of limited but I have heard it's pretty easy uh, it's generally one of the more intro AP classes and so you could do it if you put your time into it okay, next up we have AP European history and while we're at it I'm just going to group the rest of the history classes together because I'm going to be comparing them to each other in this tier list. And so between AP Euro, AP US History, and AP World History, um, AP European History definitely has the most unfamiliar material because high schools in the US often have required US History and World History classes in like middle school and stuff that at least get to an introduction to the content. So Euro is definitely the hardest out of the batch. At my school, it was pretty common that sophomores took AP US History and at other schools, it's also like that. And so often it's like the first history class AP that a lot of students take and it can get really hard because there are really specific ways that you have to write the essays like the LEQ, the DBQ, uh, the short answers. It can be really hard. And for that reason, it's gonna go in medium. And world history, I'd say, requires a lot of reading, a lot of work, but I would not necessarily say it's a harder class. I'm gonna put it in easy because by the time people get to world history, they know the format of some of these other APs. And so, Content, you know, you may have had a background to it. It won't be that bad. Now let's do AP Micro and Macro. And so I don't believe these two have the same level of difficulty. I self-studied AP Micro in six days. I did one unit per day and then I got a four on the exam. So it wasn't too difficult for me, but I know some others who had issues. Uh, but generally the consensus is that Micro is a bit easier than Macro and the exam score rates also uh, support that. And so I'm going to put Macro in Easy and Micro in Rookie. Next up, we have AP Psychology, perhaps the most notoriously easy one. And I do agree, AP Psych is easy money. Uh, obviously, you have to put the work in, but the test format is generally easy to learn. The content isn't that bad. And there are a lot of beginners that you're competing against. And the five rate is 17%, which is like a little bit above average. But the people you're going to be up against are generally people who are taking their first AP class. So if you put your mind to it, you can do it. AP Seminar. 
This one is definitely hard. Uh, you learn a lot of useful writing skills for college though. And so it might seem useless, it might seem boring. Class might not seem fun, it might seem hard, but it'll help you later. Um, I'm just gonna go directly to AP Research. That is gonna go in the very hard because you're basically making your own research project in high school. And so it's, once again, super useful for college. I wish my high school offered it, I would have taken it. AP Drawing is gonna go in hard. Once again, I'm not really into art, but from what I have understand and the research I did, AP Drawing is a much harder AP and teachers only let their students get into it if they have like a background and it involves a lot more like technique. And so for that reason, it's gonna go in hard. AP 3D Art and Design, it's gonna go in medium. Uh, it is a little bit harder than 2D Art and Design, but I don't think it's as hard as AP Drawing, although the five rate is lower. And so correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but this is from the research I've done, people I've spoken to. AP Human Geography, this is the other easy money class. Um, honestly, like I looked at the exam, um, I didn't even take the class, but it seemed like something that you could just learn from the AP book. I didn't have the opportunity to take it, it seemed interesting, uh, but it's definitely regarded as one of the easier APs by a lot of students. Now AP US Government and Politics, this one's a little bit easier, but it's gonna go in Rookie. Um, it is definitely not as hard as some of the killers up here, but it still can't pose difficulties. But I'd say it's like definitely a class to take if you're unsure if you want to go into AP classes. AP Chemistry. This is one of the biggest killers. It's going to go in master, S tier. AP Chemistry, I took it um, in sophomore year. It was a absolute nightmare. Uh, there was a lot of memorization and applications. Uh, it's, it's definitely so much work, harder than honors. Uh, most of the people I've spoken to, regardless of when they took it, also found it hard. You're going to be spending a lot of time in lab, doing a lot of things that you don't understand, and you're not going to get it a lot of the time. But that's okay. A lot of students go through that. I went through that. It'll be fine. Finally, we have AP Literature. This one is going to go in hard. Now we had AP Language in Medium, and we're gonna put AP Literature one tier above because it's not just about speaking the language anymore, it's about applying that uh, and understanding reading, which that reading can be very difficult. And so overall, this is the tier list. Leave a comment, what do you think about the tier list? Uh, let me know if you disagree, you agree with me, uh, and I hope this helps you kind of understand how these AP classes all uh, work in harmony with each other. See you next time.